What's going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 30th XHTML and CSS tutorial. 30 tutorials, that's a milestone, someone should give me an award or something. But anyways, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to control styles by using something called a class. Now what a class is, is it's similar to a span in the sense that we can affect the same element in different ways. So let me break this down for you a little more clear. Before we've been using elements to apply styles to everything on the web page that was the same element. For example, if we had eight paragraphs and we applied a style to the paragraph tag, it would affect all eight paragraphs. But what if you're saying, all right, Bucky, I want half my paragraphs to be red and half of my paragraphs to be green. Well, we can't apply a style to the paragraph tag because it would affect all the paragraphs. So in order for us to get more control or more customization over our web page we need to use something called a class now let's go ahead and well we might as well use that paragraph example so let's go ahead and make two paragraphs on your screen so the first one can be like let's go ahead and type I want this text to be read explanation point because we really mean it so let's go ahead and copy this and paste it but we'll change this paragraph to boy oh boy I wish I was green and why I capitalized green I have no idea but I did it what are you gonna do about it so anyways we have two paragraphs one where we want the text to be red and one where we want the text to be green so you're thinking alright maybe I'll go ahead and for this paragraph go ahead and do red and for another paragraph go ahead and do green but that's not going to work because it's either going to make all your paragraphs red or all your paragraphs green so what is the solution to this problem well the answer my friend you guessed it is classes so in order to make a class here's what you do the first thing you do in order to tell CSS you're going to be working with a class is put the period or a dot whatever the heck you want to call it and now name your class anything you want except the cuss word because that's just rude so I'm gonna name mine red text by the way you probably want to name it something descriptive where don't name it like baked beans and applesauce because that has nothing to do with the red text name it something that you notice what it is so anyways go ahead and put your period and then write the name of your class and then inside your curly braces what you want the rule to be. I want color red. So anything that belongs to the class red text is going to have red text. Simple enough. So let's go ahead and add another class. Um, just so I can show you guys that you can name anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and name this baby Green Goblins. That sounds like a name from um, what's that show? Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> but was green goblins even a thing? Is it, let me see, silver snake, purple penguins or something, and green go goblins, might as well. Anyways, like I was saying, so now we have a class red text and another class green goblins. And let's go ahead and make the rule for green goblins. Anytime anything belongs to the class green goblins, their text is going to be, of course, green. Hence the name green goblins so simple enough so now you're saying alright let's go ahead and save this and see what happens if we just refresh it check it out our paragraphs are plain old plain old because we didn't apply the class to those paragraphs yet so in order to do that here's what you need to do for this paragraph since we want this one to belong to the class red text we need to add an attribute called class and we need to set it equal to the name of that class but don't include the period whenever you write it as your XHTML attribute. Just go ahead and drop the period and write the name of your class, which is red text. So go ahead and copy that and paste it in here. So now let's go ahead and save it, refresh, and see what we got. Now this paragraph is the only paragraph that belongs to the class red text. So this is the only paragraph that's going to turn red so now you can see that we have some more customization so now if we want this paragraph to belong to the class red text and this paragraph to belong to the class green goblins go ahead and save this in refresh we can see that this text is now green so before this tutorial 
we really had no way of segregating the uh, two paragraphs and you can make them any color you want I chose red and green don't choose black and white because that's just racist and anyways like I was saying we can now segregate the classes and add more customization to the same element whereas before when we had one element we had one rule where it affected all the elements on the page all the paragraphs on page all the headers on page they got the same rule well now we can split them up and for this example it wasn't really useful because I mean we could have just used span or anything we could have even used div but this is the most useful way anyways what am I trying to say here later on once we start developing websites that have like hundred of elements per page this is going to be a huge huge help for you guys and you guys will see later on just how helpful this is so this is probably a tutorial that you want to put in your favorites because you do not want to forget about this one so thank you guys for watching that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial so uh, I guess I'll see you in tutorial number 31